All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to maintain a reliable off-leash recall. Seven, come. Good boy, that was a good choice, buddy. This video is only for dogs that have already been taught one and are already e-collar conditioned. So in our training system, we teach the dogs two different recalls, a formal and an informal. The formal recall, the command we use, is your dog's name and come. Now what your dog is supposed to do with this one is they're supposed to respond within less than one second. They have to come directly back to you. And then when they get to you, they have to stop and stay with you. They have to come close enough that you could reach them if you had to. So they should be within about two or three feet of you at least. Seven, come. Go boy. Yes. Good job, buddy. Seven, come. Yes. Awesome. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, free. When you recall your dog, how you say the command is really important. So your tone should be clear, distinct, and it should stand out. It should stand out from your regular talking voice. Because if you recall your dog in your regular tone of voice, seven, come. As you can see, he didn't even hear me or acknowledge that I was telling him to do something. Tone should be clear, distinct, should stand out, should be loud enough that they can for sure hear you because you can't correct your dog if they can't hear you. Seven, come. Yes, awesome. Good boy. They should respond within less than a second. They should come directly back to you. And then when they get to you, this is one of the most important parts is that they stay with you. They don't just get back to you and then leave. Fondue, come. They're not supposed to leave until you give them permission to by releasing them. Okay, free. Another important thing is body language. So you wanna give your dog clear body language when you give a formal recall. So you're gonna turn and face them after you call them. Okay, free. Seven, come. Yes, good job, buddy. All right, so let me talk about the informal recall now. The informal recall, all your dog has to do is move in your direction. They don't have to come all the way back to you and they don't have to stop when they get to you. For this, the command is just your dog's name. You don't, you're not gonna say come. Brenna. 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 So all I want her doing is moving in my direction. Right? So I don't mind if she runs past me. Brenna. 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 Now, if I wanted to switch and use my formal recall with her, remember, I'm gonna use a different command and I'm also gonna change my body language where I'm gonna turn and face her. Brenna, come. Good girl. Now the reason that we have two different recalls is so that we don't have to hold our dog to such strict criteria every time we call them. We actually use the informal recall the majority of the time because we don't want to overuse the formal recall. If we're just saying come all the time, but we're not actually making our dog follow all the rules of coming all the way back and then stopping. Luna, come. Luna, come. Luna, come. Luna, come. Come. Come on, come. Luna, come. Luna, come. Luna, come. Luna, come. 